1 John 1 verses 1 to 7 that which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled, of the word of life. For the life was manifested, and we have seen it, and bear witness, and shew unto you that eternal life, which was with the Father, and was manifested unto us. That which we have seen and heard, declare we unto you, that ye also may have fellowship with us. And truly our fellowship is with the Father, and with his Son, Jesus Christ. And these things write we unto you, that your joy may be full. This then is the message which we have heard of him, and declare unto you that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him, and walk in darkness, we lie, and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his Son, cleanseth us from all sin. I'm going to show you something that you said recently about a truth that you don't agree with. What these people are doing is they're taking the scripture and they're actually calling us for and those like us who believe in the physical coming of Jesus Christ, the second physical coming, Antichrist, the Antichrist spirit, because they are yeah. taking the scripture yeah. that says... Those who confess that Christ has come in the flesh, and they're saying, come in my flesh. Right. Not 2,000 years ago, come, like he did 2,000 years ago, but come in my flesh, consummated with me. Right. And now let's take a look at what was written. 1 John 4, verses 2 and 3. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. Christ is come in the flesh, as it is written in present tense. Sure, he came in the flesh also once, past tense, was crucified, raised the third day, and fulfills the promise to those who do the will of God. That's important to keep in mind. Hebrews 10.36 For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of God, ye might receive the promise. 1 John 2.25 And this is the promise that, ye, that he hath promised us, even eternal life. So, doing the will of God is important for those who want to receive the promise. And this is the will of God. Colossians 3.9 Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds. Some people have just not put off the old man with his conversation. 2 John 1, 5-7 And now, I beseech thee, lady, not as though I wrote a new commandment unto thee, but that which we had from the beginning, that we love one another. And this is love, that we walk after his commandments. This is the commandment that, as ye have heard from the beginning, ye should walk in it. For many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. So in order to receive the promise of eternal life, a person must first do the will of God. And that's not to lie. And everyone who confesses not that Christ is come in the flesh is anti-Christ. According to 2 John 1, 7. The consummation which is Christ in us has happened for those of us who have received the promise and that determined is poured upon the desolate who get very upset over hearing it 
Consider what's written in Daniel 9.27. And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week. And in the midst of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease. And for the overspreading of abominations he shall make it desolate. Even until the consummation. And that determined shall be poured upon the desolate. That was written before Christ was crucified. And when Christ was risen, he confirmed the new covenant to many. First, no, this is uh, John. This isn't First John. This is John 2, 18 to 22. Then answered the Jews and said unto him, What sign shewest thou unto us, seeing that thou dost these things? Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Then said the Jews, Forty and six years was this temple in building, and wilt thou rear it up in three days? But he spake of the temple of his body. When therefore he was risen from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this unto them, and they believed the scripture and the word which Jesus had said. Herod's temple was built where Solomon's temple was, who lived about a thousand years before Herod. And Solomon broke the old covenant, just like Moses said these people would do before that. And all Israel obeyed Solomon according to the Old Testament. And Christ did confirm the new covenant to many. Not all but many. First Kings 10.14 Now the weight of gold that came to Solomon in one year was 603 score and six talents of gold. Revelation 13.18 Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man and his number is 603 score and six. Revelation 17.8 the beast that thou sawest was and is not and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit and go into perdition and they that dwell on the earth shall wonder whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world when they behold the beast that was and is not and yet is Solomon set up structure for Satan on the earth and this is a uh, major defining line between the literal son of David who broke the old covenant and the one who they call the son of David who confirmed the new. I just want to let you know that. Mark 13, verses 1 and 2. And as he went this is, this is of Christ. And as he went out of the temple, one of his disciples saith unto him, Master, see what manner of stones and what buildings are here? And Jesus answering said unto him, Seest thou these great buildings? There shall not be left one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And what manner of stones otherwise are built up into a spiritual house. 1 Peter 2, verses 3 to 5. If so be, ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious, to whom coming as unto a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of God, and precious. Ye also are lively stones, built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. The abomination of desolation has to do with the temple of God being defiled. Not the temple of the beast that was and is not, which the false Jew synagogue of Satan wants to rebuild in old Jerusalem. As I keep talking about in other videos. 1 Corinthians 3, 16 and 17. 
Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. So you're going to say that I'm not holy? If it says the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are to me? I'm not saying that for uh, ego. I don't have ego problems. But, you know, it talks about the holy ones. I don't transgress the law. I'm not talking about your law. I'm talking about God's. Matthew 24 Verses 25 to 30. Behold, I have told you before. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers. Believe it not. For as the lightning cometh out of the east, and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. So does the carcass fly around with the eagles? in some sort of rapture non-event? Or does the Son of Man come in clouds of witnesses without a preconceived image to worship? That people worship. Luke 17, 20 and 21. And when he was demanded of the Pharisees when the kingdom of God should come, he answered and said unto them, The kingdom of God cometh not with observation, neither shall they say, Lo here or lo there. For behold, the kingdom of God is within you. Matthew 18, verses 2 and 3. And Jesus called a little child unto him, and set him in the midst of them, and said, Verily I say unto you, Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Know-it-all ego-driven idolaters who idolize an image are not like little children. And that's why I upset most adults who are on the broad path to destruction. Colossians 1 verses 23 to 29 If ye continue in the faith grounded and settled and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel which ye have heard and which was preached to every creature which is under heaven whereof I Paul am made a minister who now rejoice in my sufferings for you and fill up that which is behind of the afflictions of Christ in my flesh for his body's sake which is the church whereof I am made a minister according to the dispensation of God which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of God even the mystery which hath been hid from ages and from generations but now is made manifest to his saints to whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles which is Christ in you the hope of glory whom we preach warning every man and teaching every man in, in all wisdom that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. Whereunto I also labor, striving according to his working, which worketh in me mightily. The body of Christ is not an established, under certain law, false church slash temple made with hands for a Sunday service for money changer tithe collectors. And also I would like to mention that uh, the Jews, that Jews are not those godless under the law rabbis which Christ said to be not called. Those are the synagogue of Satan. Romans 2, 28 and 29. For he is not a Jew which is one outwardly, neither is that circumcision which is outward in the flesh. But he is a Jew which is one inwardly, and circumcision is that of the heart, in the spirit, and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men, but of God. So render tribute to whom tribute is due, not to, 
your elected officials or associates that don't do the will of God. I'll leave a link for a video named Old Jerusalem is Bound for Destruction in the description box under this video. And I ask that you take a look at it and tell me if I'm wrong or tell me how I'm wrong.